right here with the school, it makes it you know, even more uh, significant. You didn't know if you know, they had children inside. One man is in custody tonight after a police chase in Metairie ended in the yard of a Catholic school. It stunned neighbors and forced the school to go down to in lockdown mode. Tom, the chase started around 1030 this morning near Bonneville Boulevard and Metairie Road and ended at St. Catherine of Siena. Paul Dudley has been following the story and joins us live with more on what happened. Paul. Well, this all started when police got a call about a suspicious person just a couple blocks away from here. Now, police tried to stop that vehicle. The driver ended up taking off. He ends up crashing, getting out of his vehicle, and hops the fence to the school you see behind me. A suspect on the loose, a school on lockdown, and dozens of police cars made for a frightening few moments near St. Catherine of Siena Catholic School. It's a quiet neighborhood. You don't see this sort of thing happening at all. It all unfolded after police tried to stop a driver on Metairie Road. The suspect, now identified as 25-year-old Robert Celestine of Kenner, led police on a chase and crashed into two other cars on Cotterford near Bonneville. The, the sirens just came streaming down the Veterans Highway. Five, six marked cars, about five, six, eight, ten unmarked cars, and it kept coming. According to police, Celestine got out of the crashed car and hopped the fence into the schoolyard, but teachers were ready and so were police. School did a great job of locking down their students itself. Uh, teachers allowed our, our police officers to go in and were able to make an apprehension very quickly. After the crash, officers found at least one gun and drugs in the vehicle that Celestine was driving, but when he took off into the schoolyard, he was unarmed. The drugs are not legitimate, whether the gun is uh, or uh, won't be, we'll, our investigation will determine that. And all parents did receive a text when this did happen, telling uh, them that the school was on a lockdown. It was a very short lockdown to kind of put this in perspective for you. Uh, it started about 11 a.m. By the time we did our noon live shot, the kids were already out playing on recess. It's the very latest live in Metairie tonight. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. Glad everyone is okay. Thanks very much, Paul.